At C. Wayne Golf and Country Club in Hewlett Harbor, New York, Superintendent Brian Benedict faces constantly changing water management issues. Situated on the south shore of Long Island, C. Wayne can run from wet to dry and back, almost as quickly as the tides rise and fall. It's not just the weather, but the groundwater that dictates the playing conditions. With the ocean so nearby, wind direction and even the phase of the moon can make the difference between soaked and dehydrated turf. We're about an inch and a half golf course as far as rains go. Anything more than an inch and a half is, is really, you're looking at probably a day before you can get back out here because we drain as the tide goes. So as the tide goes out, we will drain down. If it's high tide and we get a, a gully washer, the water basically has nowhere to go. So it's really indicative of, of the tidal flow of how the water drains off the property. Water management issues at Sea Wayne may be a bit more extreme than at most golf courses, but they serve as an ideal testing ground for Precision Laboratories products. We use Cascade Plus on the greens, and we've always used them. One year we didn't use them, and that was a year where we had a lot of rainfall, and, and the product that we chose to use that year made the greens real spongy. Uh, they held a lot of water in the upper profile, which you don't want to hold water around here. More recently, Brian has discovered the virtues of Magnus as well. We started using the, the Magnus this year on the fairways in certain spots. We, we started putting it on three or four fairways and really saw some great spreading of water equally. Because a lot of the fairways we have here, we're not able to irrigate them with a substantial amount of water due to the water table being so high. Like the, the bottom of six right here, it only, it probably gets three minutes a night. You know, maybe six minutes if it's a real dry condition. But if you get heat and humidity, which we get down here on the South Shore, you're probably looking at three minutes a night, but that Magnus was able to keep, the, keep it a little moist and hold that, hold that little bit of irrigation cycle at night. In conditions like these at Sea Wayne, where some parts of the course always seem wet, while others always seem dry, the control that Precision Zone products provide is invaluable. You could be standing right here and be wet and go 20 feet away and have a completely dry condition. It's almost like we have, I almost equate it to underground springs a little bit because you ride around here and you know, fairways bone dry and then you go 20 feet later and it's, and it's soaking wet. So I think the, the Magnus has enabled us to basically uniform the water a little bit better. Proper water management is a cooperative effort between water management products and cultural maintenance. We top dress fairways twice a year, coordinated with aerification. We put probably in the vicinity of 800 to 1,000 tons of sand on the fairways, which has helped immensely with, with the drainage in the top layer or so, allowing the water to get through. The products and, and, and the cultural combination of the two has made the fairways a lot better than what they used to be. Brian depends upon the entire portfolio of Zone and other Precision products. We use easy tabs in our guns for the, uh, when we have our guys' water bunker banks. We started uh, just, just last year uh, treating all of our bunker banks by hand with a handgun and we use the, the Super Signal green dye so that the applicator is able to see what he's applying on the bunker banks. Use a little bit of duplex in, in some pesticide applications, which basically the duplex makes the water wetter. It, it reduces the tension on top and allows the water to penetrate. And Cascade is the trusted standby from the fairways to the greens. We've put drainage in the greens recently, in the, or dra drainage in eight of the greens. Being that it's, 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 our greens don't perk well, I mean, they're probably in the, in the 0.8 to one and a half range because they're old, you know, they're old soil-based push-up greens. My hope in using the Cascade is to, is to be able to get the water to penetrate and get it off the surface. With Precision Zone products, Brian is able to adjust the conditions on the course according to the needs of the turf and the desires of the club membership. I think it's almost uh, what your membership wants. I mean, you want, you want playability in your greens, I'm sure everybody does, but you want it to be a little bit on the firm side. But the fairways, you, you might want a little bit greener and, and you might let the greens go a little, you know, let them go a little bit more because you can control that environment because it's a smaller area or it's a smaller acreage area. Whereas the fairways, it's much more of a broad, a broad application. And I think the Magnus has helped us, helped us in that regard, specifically on 15. Uh, 15 used to burn out because you'd, you'd have an area in the fairway where it would be soaking wet and you have another area on the same zone that would be completely dry. So you'd basically be caught between a rock and a hard place because am I going to water for the dry or am I going to keep the water going and all of a sudden I've got a lake. 
So I think that the Magnus product has is, is really helped the fairways immensely. A side benefit of this increased control is the decreased need for irrigation. We've probably cut back percentage-wise on those fairways. It's all, I think it's just able to, able to spread the water better, maybe get it in there because you're treating the soil with the Magnus. Every superintendent wants to work with a sense of trust and control, and that's why Brian will continue to use Precision Zone products. I've never had any problem with it, basically. I mean, if you, if you have success with something, I mean, we, we, strayed, we strayed a couple years ago to try a new product and, and, had, and had a little bit of trouble with it, so I, I definitely keep on the path.